What's up everybody? This is your boy Glenn Devon and welcome to your trans health series. Today we will be I'll be walking you through a few exercises that you can do from home if you don't have access to the gym at the moment. Along the way, I will provide you with some tips as well to help you stay healthy and active. Next workout that we're going to do has to do with your lower body, so your legs. Not a lot of people like to do leg workout. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of it either, but you have to make sure that everything um, stays aligned when you're keeping your body fit, right? Because you don't want to show up after a year looking like Johnny Bravo. That's not sexy, right? So legs, this one. So squats, you got to make sure that your back is straight, right? And your knees are a little bit bent and down. All right, a lot of people can't go that low. So just go as low as you can. And again, depending on how experienced you are or how long you've been working out, that would say how many reps you can go. So for me, personally, I would do at least 20, 25 squats, maybe for a beginner, eight to 12, and you do four reps of that, All right? So, remember, push out your chest, down, All right? Um, one of the things that you can use just to make that a little bit harder is ankle weights, all right? So you should be able to get these at any sports store that's close to you. So basically you just wrap it around your ankles and it adds a little extra weight. To the workout that you're doing. Perfect. And they're not that expensive. I think I paid at least two five for these. For this set and the heavier they are, the more expensive they are. So, back to it. So other than the standing in place squat that everybody is familiar with, just to add a little bit more extremeness to the workout, you can also do the jumping squat, which is the same thing. The only difference is that you're jumping. So Turn around, go back the same length. Normally, the space that you'll be jumping in should be a lot longer than this, but I guess if you're just in your room or something, however far your room stretches, you jump to that end. Turn around, repeat that at least four times. Right, and again, it all depends on how far your room stretches. We'll see, you know, how long you can actually endure doing something like that. It does get your heart racing. So again, remember to hydrate. All right, so that was just a short workout session to get you ready for the morning. Uh, just some 
tips and tricks to ensure that you stay active with your workouts and consistency is also key to a great fitness health. So the things that I would recommend that you do is to set a schedule. I know that everybody is, bu is busy. However, you know, we find time for things that are important to us. So if your health is important to you or fitness is important to you, it's good to try to set a schedule around your busy day today. Right? Another thing that I would recommend is to keep your gym clothes in your bag because that's a sign of motivation. So if you go to work today, you might not be in the mood to go to the gym. If you look in your bag and you see your work clothes, um, I mean your gym clothes, you're going to be like, okay, so the gym is right down the road. I can, I can stop and I can do that, right? So keeping your gym clothes in your bag is a great way to motivate yourself to go to the gym. Also, having a gym partner is also a great way to stay motivated. Once there is somebody in the gym or there's somebody with you, even if you're working out from home, because personally, me and my best friend, we did both until we could afford to actually go to the gym. So we would just meet up whatever time is suitable for us and we would work out together from home. So having a gym partner, because seeing somebody else working out, sometimes I'm watching my best friend uh, do certain workouts and they're bigger in body than me so they can handle a lot more weight than I can. So whenever I see them doing like 20 reps, then that makes me want to up my game, right? So having a gym partner is definitely recommended. Waking up early, also recommended, gets you ready for the day and ensure that you're taking vitamins because you don't want your body to break down. If you need any more tips and tricks, you can also check out my Instagram page, which is Trans J A. On that page, you will see specific tips, workout tips for trans women and trans men, whatever the body goal is. Also, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to send me a message. I will definitely answer.